Hey wine moms and puppy lovers everywhere. I wanted to let you know that our new store, The Fetching Barker, is now open. Shop the cutest and eco-friendly, natural, and handcrafted dog supplies. The Fetching Barker has everything your pup needs and so much more. From toys to travel essentials, a wide line of CBD and hemp products, snacks and treats to handcrafted accessories. Shop your favorite brands like Pet Head, Becco Pets, Papilla, Petalton Pet, and more. Or find new brands that I am sure you're going to love. Visit thefetchingbarker.com and feel good that a portion of all profits go to support global conservation efforts. I mean, this is the planet our pet loves, right? That's thefetchingbarker.com. Do you want a real, honest, and flexible career that you can do from home? This is not another direct sales gig or one of those fake get-rich-quick schemes, but a real, professional, and flexible way to earn a legitimate five- to six-figure income around your lifestyle. What I'm talking about here is bookkeeping. And yes, you heard that right, bookkeeping. This position has been around for over a century and has been an upstanding and honest career path within the financial industry. A bookkeeper is the backbone to any business and the right hand to a CPA or EA. Traditionally, this position has been in an office setting or placed within an accounting firm. But with today's technology and cloud-based programs, bookkeeping is now available and trusted to be done anywhere. This is why I've released my Home Bookkeeper Masterclass. This class gives you all the knowledge and insight on how to launch your very own home bookkeeping business and goes along with the number one accounting program in the nation. You'll also receive a business resource guide on my favorite bookkeeping aids and how to use them and a pro advisor study guide to help you pass the free, yes I said free, online certification with the same accounting program that I use at my bookkeeping firm, EDJ Consulting. Head over to the resources page at emmadon.com to enroll in the Home Bookkeeper Masterclass today. Hey, Wine Moms, and thank you for listening to this MW Network and Emmadon production. Now available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, themommywines.com, and wherever else you get your favorite podcasts. For exclusive content and early access, make sure to tune in on Patreon. (laughs) Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Mommy Wines podcast. I am your host, as always, Emma Don, and today I am joined by fellow wine lover, mother, and the talented designer behind all of the wine themed, I would say, definitely wine themed furniture pieces from (laughs) Off the Vine Designs, Jessica. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. I'm so excited to talk to you because I saw I don't know how it came across. Maybe you liked one of the one of my photos or something and then I was just like checking out your profile oh, yeah. and I'm like this needs to be every single furniture piece in my house. They're oh, so thank cute. You. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. I, I, it's probably from Instagram because I see your quotes all the time. I love them. (laughs) They're so funny. Real, just real life mom stuff, right? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. I can relate to just about every one of them. (laughs) Well, I love that. I'm glad they're relatable. People think they're funny. I've gotten some, some hate on quite a few of those posts, but they're really just for comedy. They're not always true Mm -hmm. i think there was one about (laughs) what is the age quota for ditching your kid at a fire station or something and there have been (laughs) days where i'm like if you push my button one more time we are getting in the car and we're going to a fire station (laughs) (laughs) that's funny (laughs) and you were like oh my gosh that's serious and i'm like well yeah i'm not sorry (laughs) it's it's not real Yeah, i'm not really (laughs) dropping him off it may be if it was real it's kind of like one of those things like oh don't make me turn this car around you know yeah exactly (laughs) so what inspired um all of the creation of your wine themed furniture 
Well, actually, I um, I was actually looking for a bookshelf from a hallway in my house, and I just was everywhere, and I couldn't find anything that I liked that was unique enough. And it's just a bookshelf. How hard could it be, you know? But I had some I had some wine boxes laying around. I'm like, hey, this this is kind of cool. And you know, you jump on Pinterest and you find all kinds of stuff when you want to make something. Um, so I did, and it was pretty cool and I was really happy with it and people would compliment it all the time so it kind of boosted my confidence to just grab some more wine boxes and just go to town just anything that I could think of I'm like oh let me give that a shot and then it just kind of snowballed now where do you find <laughs> you these know? wine boxes at because I drink a lot of wine and I've never had a wine box <laughs> exactly same 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 so I had to find I had to find them there's a there's um, a guy that collected boxes about an hour away from my house um, that I would go drive to and pick some up. He'd only have some every once in a while. He must have had an in with a bar or something because these boxes only get sh- – they the wine only gets shipped in actual wood boxes when it's expensive. Mm. And that's kind of not where I roll. <laughs> Same. I get I get um, bottles delivered in cardboard, but, (laughs) you know, a a case of bottles, but never a box, a wooden box. So I had to go find them. And finally, you know, after just kind of poking around and grabbing what I can get and buying whatever I can, because of course they're not free. um, I found a place, it's just a liquor store, basically. It's a liquor store that they know they have a good supply and they know I'm coming and they give me a good deal when I, because I get a lot of them. I like, when I say a lot, I rent a truck. (gasps) And oh get a my lot God. <laughs> at a time. And the spare room just it's not a spare anymore anymore. It's just, you know, pretty much studio, like boxes everywhere and tools and stuff everywhere. <laughs> Ideas and sketches and all kinds of stuff. So it's pretty cool. It's it's pretty they neat. They are super just get boxes, just pick them up. Yeah, they're super unique. And I've kind of had the problem, too, where I've been looking around for furniture and, you know, there's just not a whole lot that's like, like you said, unique enough or kind of funky or, Mm -hmm. you know, it has kind of any sort of style to it. I feel like there's a lot of different things that are maybe like multi-use nowadays, which is great. Yeah, yeah. But like... You know, I'm not going to switch out my decor all the time. I kind of want like a few (laughs) basic pieces and then a few funky pieces and, you know, and just have that be that. But I loved your stuff and those end tables. Please tell me you should. I do. I just actually I just started not too long ago because I was in a local store. I just pulled my stuff out of the local store for obvious reasons. They're oh. closed. <laughs> um, so I <laughs> because so I, I just really been focusing more online and shipping and things. So um, I literally just opened an Etsy shop. It seems something I should have done a long time ago. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of Etsy world of things, but I didn't have an Etsy shop. I was just focusing on local stuff and doing little fairs and um, and in the store. So now I'm kind of refocusing just like everybody is with everything that they do these days, just kind of shifting focus oh, yeah. and there's a lot of adjusting seeing how else they can get things done. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So yeah, I, I definitely, I just, I just started that. And actually I, I ship, I, I take the shipping costs. So I ship free anywhere in the contiguous U S really. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, I might get two of those end tables <laughs> for my bed then nice <laughs> and <laughs> and anytime anybody sees something because I've made other things that obviously I didn't put on Etsy that are already sold so you know either at the store or at a fair or something that you know I'm like I just kind of want to put them on just so people can see them because maybe they don't like what I have right now but something would fit them better so you know people can always just shoot me an email and say hey can you do this <laughs> or something you know I'm up for that because it's more of a challenge <laughs> And it's like something that somebody else wants instead of just something in my head that I just me- mess around with. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I would put some of those. Um, so. I used to run an Etsy shop and I love the platform. Um, yeah. I would put it's some of those cool. like sketches and stuff up for like oh, you know, yeah. inspiration. People are like, oh, that's a good idea. I can, I can order that. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, exactly. I don't want to make it again and you know, just sit there. So, 
you know, it's the things that sold sold kind of quick. So I have pictures, but they didn't spend a lot of time circulating. Mm. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know if I should, yeah, I'll just put some kind of gallery up. <laughs> yeah. So people can see there's more than this. There's really anything, anything that's square <laughs> <laughs> or maybe can be altered from a square, you know, we'll figure it out, you know, true. So it's kind of fun to, to figure it out. Challenging. So are you, is this like a hobby or are you doing this full time now? I feel like everyone Well, I'm doing this full time. I know everybody's, everybody's doing whatever they can full time. I I started this as a hobby and it just kind of bloomed into full time because I, it's something like I've been in corporate world my life and I decided to stay home with, with my youngest who's six and um, well, he wasn't six when I started staying home, but I was completely like out of my element. You know, there's only so much, especially when they start school. It's like, uh, I don't want to just sit around or do housework. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just not my thing. So I I'm always looking for something creative. And I just want to do something and start something from nothing and create something that was just nothing before. And I, I love that. And I just like the whole process, you know. It's it's pretty fulfilling. It's it's very satisfying too. So it's become a business, um, you know, as much as it, it can be right now. This is not a essential item. <laughs> Decor definitely is not essential, but, you know, it could be argued that wine is, obviously. Yes. <laughs> be a judge, judging by the post and everybody, you know, bored. Yes. Bored or home with their kids all the time, which both need wine. Uh, yes. Audience, raise your <laughs> hand if you're drinking yourself through quarantine. <laughs> I'm raising my hand. I know this is audio. I'm raising mine. <laughs> I'm raising my glass as a matter of fact. There you go. Unfortunately, <laughs> I live in Utah and mm. I can't get wine shipped here. However, oh. I have partnered with Naked Wines. So if you like getting shipments, you can get six bottles for $35. Um, nice. I'll give you a code. Uh, <laughs> cause I can't, so I'm like, no, give me a coupon code. I'll share it with everybody. Um, uh, but I drove by like the, the liquor store cause I have to go to like a specialty store, um, to buy oh. any kind of alcohol here in the state of Utah. And there was a oh, line. So deprived. I know it's a sad, <laughs> it's a sad life. It's like a third world country over here. <laughs> um you need to come to florida because at least you can just play in the pool and drink some wine and just call it a day that would be amazing <laughs> except for like i can't do bugs or like humidity so i'm yeah. actually looking at relocating to tennessee Ex oh, okay cool yeah you can't come to florida if you don't like bugs and humidity yeah not that anybody does but <laughs> yeah no nope. just is what it is nobody does <laughs> there's a youtube family that i watch who lives in orlando and their sons are always outside catching like lizards and like crawfish <laughs> oh yeah they're everywhere but yeah yeah i was driving by and i was like you know what i'm gonna stop at the liquor store i just i took my dog for a hike and i was on my way back home and there was a line because they're only letting <laughs> like two people in the building at a time. And then they're oh, also yeah. making people stand six feet apart and you yeah. have to have a mask, which I'm like, seriously, like, Oh yeah, you have to. Oh yeah. We don't have to here, but you know, I see a lot of people with them. Yeah. And I, I feel like oh, that doesn't really, I don't feel like that's really going to help. <laughs> like, yeah. Cause it only, it only keeps people from. Yeah. Like if you touch something who that has germs on it and then you go to take the mask off, where do you think that mask is? Right next to your mouth. Exactly. Like it's just exactly. like the dumbest thing ever. But there was this line and it was zigzagging all the way through the parking lot and then out <laughs> onto the sidewalk. And I waited in a shorter line like two weeks ago and it was still 45 <laughs> minutes. And I'm like, there's no way. Oh my. So I am currently out of wine so if anybody is in the so, salt lake area who wants to bring some wine over <laughs> so you up. can't have like a friend mail it to you it's not allowed to travel in the mail in utah no like it can't be oh. delivered at all i have a p.o box oh my gosh and like a shipment um like place where i get a bunch of shipments at but it's like an hour and a half away 
Oh my gosh. In a ta- it's like in this well, teeny, teeny, tiny town on the border of Nevada and Utah. And it's so funny because I drive over there sometimes to get like packages, um, like PR packages and stuff. And you go and on the one so side, far. it is, it is far, but everything out West, <laughs> I feel like is far. Um, Cause it's just so scattered. There's like nothing yeah. in between everything. So everything is far. <laughs> nothing between everything yes <laughs> so like on the utah side it's like a teeny teeny tiny little like podunk western ghost town looking situation <laughs> and then, tumbleweed flying by yes like exactly exactly like <gasps> really like, just it's not just movies rocks <laughs> like tumbleweeds everywhere it, oh my gosh like, seriously it's like a cliche but then there's like this uh. big old line in like on the roads where like they had because there's casinos and um like bars and a liquor store on the nevada side mm-hmm. and this town is maybe probably right. like five blocks so it's really funny because it's like the casino building butts up right to the yellow line of like huh. nevada and utah because you can And then, like, the sidewalk has lines because people walk around with drinks and stuff on the Nevada side. (gasps) But you can't cross the yellow line on the sidewalk because then it's the Utah side. And it's it's literally, like, the funniest thing ever. That is hilarious. So I'm I'm kind of right smack in the middle, like, in Clearwater Tampa area of Florida. So I'm not really near anything but the golf. And we're kind of right in the middle of everything. So literally our restaurants that are pick, uh, curbside pickup only and stuff, you can't dine in oh, because yeah. of the coronavirus. So they even have to-go beer and to-go margaritas and to-go everything. To-go <gasps> with your so dinner. I'm so jealous. Are you jealous? I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm like, we have it made. We're in this little bubble. So you talk about everything being so far and we're like, we could never move. We're like in the middle of everything. But we don't feel like we are. I mean, we've got, you know, trees and stuff to, to make us feel like we're away from everything. But we're very close to everything and nice, good restaurants. And really, I'm like, oh, God, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it out west. <laughs> no. I There's like a few things I like about it. I like the weather. I like the mountains. Mm. I like. Yeah, that would be nice. Like the peacefulness. But yeah. Utah is its own, like, monster. And oh, like mm. Nevada was great. Nobody bugged you. You had like plenty of like there's just endless land and you know, mountains and whatever and no humidity, no bugs, <laughs> um, you know, not too much like wildlife. So you don't have to worry huh. about like scorpions or snake like there's some snakes, Ooh. but you don't have to worry about like bears or stuff like that you know yeah yeah so like that was nice because it was kind of like whatever but I'm from Ohio originally so I totally get like one of the things that was the longest for me to adjust was everything being so far Mm because in Ohio it's kind of it's very similar to Florida where Mm -hmm. like everything's close but there's like trees and greenery and rolling hills Uh and Florida's a bit flat, but, like, you don't mm-hmm. feel like you're close because right. there's, like, a little bit of separation. But, mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's a different yeah. it's a different world for sure. Yeah. They I, can't, actually, I can't imagine. The governor released a press release talking about um, closing, like, closing down alcohol sales in Utah due to the coronavirus. What? And what people were freaking out. <laughs> like it was, I, I'm surprised there wasn't a riot because there is a oh my large gosh. population here that doesn't drink. And, you know, there's a, there's a culture here that has a large population that really kind of pushes for like no alcohol, you know, no bars. And that's why we have special hmm. liquor stores and stuff. And, Wow. It makes it a bit like it's, it's like the prohibition. Like pe- people yeah, are so like crazy. hoarding and like bootlegging <laughs> alcohol like crazy right now. Well, it makes more sense to be hoarding 
the liquor than the toilet paper. So let's be honest. At least that makes sense. Yes. At least that makes sense. (laughs) I don't know. But it does make sense if it was wine and liquor to be stockpiling because, you know, sanity. Yeah. (laughs) I am. And it's. I, I do these recordings when my son is with his dad. So every other weekend is when I, you know, get a huge chunk of my work done. I do that's like good. my bookkeeping, you know, and stuff. Cause that's what I am. I'm a bookkeeper. It's very, it's mm-hmm. very thrilling. Um, <laughs> so I do that. I do the recordings. I edit all of my podcast episodes. Like this is like my main time to like be a grown up. You know, and not just sit yeah. around watching Blippy for hours on end. <laughs> and so, like, now I'm, like, sitting here kid-free in an alcohol-free house what on a Sunday heck? in Utah. And I'm like, oh, my God. Is it Sunday? Because I don't even know. It is Sunday. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is anymore. I know it's Sunday because I tried <laughs> to go to the liquor store this morning and it's closed. <laughs> Oh, we just have to wait. I think I think we just have to wait till noon on Sundays. But we, you know, I have heard that some people are surprised that our grocery stores have a wine section because I understand that not all states have that. It's like completely separate, separate buildings and separate everything. Like you have to be meaning to go into a liquor store to get anything liquor. See, that's is so that weird like it is over there? Yeah. You well, you can buy oh. like beer only. Yeah. You can't oh, buy like wine ciders. You can't buy wine. You can't buy mm. any of that at like a grocery store. But some of the grocery stores do have like beer only. Um, but in Ohio, it was the same as Florida. There was like a, yeah. a liquor and beer section. Yeah. You know, same in Nevada. I just, and I loved that because it was very convenient. Because I would just go to Smith's. Or Kroger and just like right. do all of my shopping. But now I'm in Utah, so I have to go to like three different stores to do shopping. Exactly. I'm like, but yeah, cleaning. but it's for cooking. But it's for cooking. It's for cooking. Yeah, yeah, it's for cooking. Yeah, totally. <laughs> sure. I, I cook with wine all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, just as a partner. Even exactly. Even exactly. if you're not anyway. cooking with it, you're cooking <laughs> with it in your hand. <laughs> exactly. So you all have heard me talk about Real Good Foods before. If you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you definitely should, you'll have seen Milo devouring the Real Good Foods pizza. Well, my favorite frozen food company is now launching ice cream. Real, real good ice cream. No icy or chalky texture like other light ice creams. It's made with fresh milk and cream, giving it that smooth, creamy goodness we all love. On a sweet note, there's only 4 grams of sugar. The new Real Good Ice Creams are sweetened with alios, a naturally occurring sweetener found in things like figs and dates. This rare sugar has one-tenth of the calories of typical cane sugars, leaving this guilt-free frozen treat with a low 180 calories per serving. You can find this Real Good Ice Cream online at Real Good Foods and Vitamin Shop. And that is why I need some wine furniture. I understand. I need to like, <laughs> I, what I really want to do, and this might sound crazy, but um, I want to build like a home office because I am not, like I said, I'm not from here. I've only been here about a year and a half and it's just not working out. So I've been looking at houses <laughs> <laughs> and I want to oh. dedicate like a podcast room, office room. And I was thinking about doing, um, like a glass case, like, you know, like those wine shelves that, um, have like the stand up bottles. Yes. Yeah. I was thinking about doing that, but then like enclosing it with like, I don't know, maybe like plexiglass or something Mm -hmm. and then having like all wine themed furniture. Nice. So like my desk table that's pretty cool everything um so yeah and tennessee is not that far so if i end up moving to tennessee that's that's like my top right now of where i've been yeah looking. i'll just i'll that's have to like good. i don't know get a truck and drive down and <laughs> load everything up 
Oh man, that would be awesome. That would be very, very cool. I think it would be like, I don't know. I have this vision and I just, I can't find, like you were saying, anything on like Wayfair and I don't trust yeah. Amazon. Yeah. And well, there's like home goods and at home and stuff that has like, well, no, at home has like a gazillion of one thing, but home goods, like, I don't know if you have a home goods over there, but home Me goods too, yeah. has, yeah, it has like, if you'd like it, you better buy it because it may not be there again. So it's kind of, sort of, um, Oh, you know, a one hit wonder every once in a while, but, but it's still, you know, it's mass produced because it just, you can tell, you can tell that it's not real. And, you know, I'm not, I'm by no means a perfectionist. I try really hard and and to do a really good job, but, um, and I learn a lot and and I, I back up and take things apart and put them right back together again. A lot of times I'm like, okay, no, that didn't work. Let's try this again. So, um, obviously I, I want to do very, very good quality and I, that's what I strive for. But sometimes it takes, it takes a little and these pieces that you see in the stores, it's like, they're, they're not, anybody could do it, but nobody does, you know, there's are simple things, but there's companies yeah. just mass producing them. So there's no appeal. There's no character to it. There's nothing to draw you in and make you want it, you know, in your home that is so geared towards who you are you know and you definitely are you're definitely wine I'm definitely yeah. wine we're wine people <laughs> I like my wine people yeah my people I don't are the think, good people. I don't think I've had anybody on this show well I had one person who doesn't drink at all oh they're they're from Utah but oh, well, that makes sense yeah <laughs> never like I just congregate around wine people I'm like people wow. these are my people you know (laughs) your tribe your wine tribe my tribe my wine tribe (laughs) (laughs) we are now a part of each other's wine tribe let it be known yes (laughs) yes for sure I'm I'm looking around my house right now and I am like because pretty much everything I've gotten at home goods and I'm like it makes it's now making me sad oh no I just ruined (laughs) home goods for you (laughs) <laughs> no, I still like home goods. I'm just saying. No, I love oh, home no. Goods, But I'm like, I'm like looking at it because everything I've bought, I just, I've never felt at home since I moved here. Mm. So everything I've bought, I'm like, oh, convenient. That's on clearance or that's uh, on sale. Yep. That's you know, not good I've too. never, yes. I've never bought something because I was like in love with it. Right. And I've just, I needed it. Um, you know, and it was on sale, and now mm-hmm. I'm like, man, like I, you gotta love a good deal. <laughs> yeah, I do. Love That's kind a good of in deal. our blood as moms and <laughs> women and moms and stuff. So, yes, when they mail deal. me a 25 percent off coupon and it's on sale, I'm like, okay, I'll buy it. <laughs> yep, <laughs> That's how they get me. Suckers. We're suckers. We're suckers for a good sale. <laughs> and then I brag be... about it, <laughs> and I made my kids all thrifty yes. like that. <laughs> they come home like, oh, you can't even realize what I did, what I got for this. This was awesome. Just what I paid for it. <laughs> I'm like, that's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's who I that, raised. <laughs> that can be the start of our confession. <laughs> because <laughs> I have switched furniture so much. It's like a problem. Because I can't, I want to be comfortable. I'm trying Mm -hmm. to make myself comfortable in a place that I'm uncomfortable. So Mm. I keep switching my home decor and I, I work from home, especially now. Right. Um, Where you can't go anywhere but home. (laughs) Yeah. I feel like even the people who didn't work from home are now working from home. So I'm like, I'm just, I spend so much of my time here and I'm trying to make it comfortable that. Like the people at my local home goods know me by name. <laughs> so that is my confession. That's good. I, I will wash hey. away I will wash away my sin with my coffee since I'm wineless. <laughs> oh my <sad>. gosh. <laughs> the horror. A wine podcast with coffee? What? I know. <laughs> I'm just a disappointment. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> that just means I'm drinking alone. That just you are that's horrible. Well, I have a box. So tell me if this is safe. Oh gosh. I had it in the fridge 
And because I went out and I bought a bunch of bottles because mm-hmm. I've been saving a ton of bottles because I want to do something with them. And oh my God. Dis- I want to display like, cause I'm a sucker for like product labeling. Like mm-hmm. if it has a cute label, I'm going right. to try it. <laughs> yep. And even you. if I don't love it, I'm going to save it because the bottle exactly. looks cute. Exactly. Oh my gosh. We're the same. <laughs> <laughs> So I have so many wine bottles that I've been saving because I'm like, man, I want to do something cool with them or display Uh them in some way, like in an office or something. Uh So I have a ton of wine bottles. Me too. And (laughs) I always, I always go in and I'll buy like a few at a time, but since the quarantine and I had to wait in line for 45 minutes, I was like, no, I am going to stock up so i bought like way more bottles than i normally would and then i also picked up a box of wine because i'm like okay it's quarantine i ain't you know getting picky with it i'm just gonna like this is my emergency (laughs) this is desperation here (laughs) it's the emergency stash and if you don't like it it's the cooking wine yes that's what we've decided we tried that too and there's still a box in our in our bar and i'm like okay that's now cooking wine because didn't care for it (laughs) And, and it's okay as long as it just yeah. gets the job done. Yeah, that's but true. I put it in the fridge, opened it, and now it's been sitting on my counter. So I'm wondering if it's safe to drink. Oh. Because if mm. it is, I will drink it right now. <laughs> just do it. Throw an ice cube in there. Once it's cold, you won't even know. <laughs> well, I also, I had the founder of um, Pure Wine. I don't know if you've heard of these. But pure wine is sure. this like I have the wand and I have the bottle filter, and what it does is the pure wine things take out all of like the sulfates oh, and yeah. the histamines, uh-huh. so it makes it so you don't get flush, you don't get headaches, yes. and you don't get a hangover. Right. So I am like, okay, well, this is perfect for my giant box of wine because. <laughs> Anything is going to give you a hangover. It's going to be boxed wine. Exactly. So you've been, you've, you've, you've conditioned your body to be ready just in case it's not good. Oh, yes. You're ready. Well, you know, you said, you you said the naked wines. So we get naked wines delivered and uh, in naked wines. Yes. And you have to try if, well, you can't get delivered, but if you, Find somehow to get something from Scott Kelly. It's a Tempranillo from Scott Kelly. It's out of Oregon. So because the California wines, they have so much sugar, they're a little too sweet. But in Oregon, it's, I don't know, for some reason, they don't add as much sugar. But the Scott Kelly Tempranillo is so freaking good. I feel like we put, we deplete his inventory because we buy it by the case. We buy a case with like, I don't know, maybe 12 bottles at a time. And we pretty much fill them. And every once in a while, okay, let's get a little something, maybe a white or something every once in a while. But it's so good. So if you get a chance to get your hands on it, or if you move to Tennessee and come down to Florida <laughs> for something. To... I am just like, there's so many different things so about good. living in Utah that's just so inconvenient. <laughs> and with what's going on in the world right now, I am looking for space because Mm -hmm. I'm about to launch another business which is like a pet supply business Mm -hmm. and so I'm like okay I have multiple things that I do from home so I work from home so I'm always at home Mm -hmm. so I'm looking for a little bit more space and I want to start preparing for like having to live like off grid because everyone is talking about how you know, after this whole quarantine thing, you know, it, things are going to be changing Mm -hmm. and I don't know like how dramatic they're going to change, Yeah, but I just, I don't know, like the school systems and everything with, you know, considering that and so scary to not know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, So I'm like, maybe I want to do some kind of like alternative schooling method with my son Mm -hmm. And so I want like a little bit of land and you would think Utah would have large lots or like, yeah, you know, no. yards and whatnot, but no, <laughs> no all don't. that space and they don't divvy it up nicely. 
No, <laughs> it is like a million dollars if you want like an acre and a half. Oh, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, location, location, crazy. location. Well, I for know. that, you know, Texas. Tennessee is like cheap. I feel like Texas, you can get a lot for your money. You know, if I you watch enough HGTV, you f- I feel like some kind of expert. But <laughs> this seems like <laughs> <don't think> <laughs> exactly they they get so much. Like in Texas, I'm like, oh my gosh, we could have, this house would be a mansion. We pay for this house and we freaking living in a mansion right now. Not that I ever want that, but yeah. it's just like we could you could have everything you want within your budget and plus a whole lot of land I'm like oh my gosh it's all about location I know I was looking at like what I want and it's not like I want a giant house or anything mm-hmm. because it's just me and my son and our dog yeah. so like I would be the one cleaning that yeah giant you don't house. really want that so <laughs> I, really I hear you sister I hear you <laughs> I want an office. I want my own room because I'm hoping one day my son will just sleep in his room and sleep in his own bed. Huh. Um, I doubt it. Yeah. I feel like he's going to sleep in my room and in my bed forever. Mm-hmm. Same. But hopefully one day he'll move into his own room. So I need a room for him and then an office. So three bedrooms, maybe two baths, super simple, not a bunch of space. You know, it's just us. But I want like a little bit of a yard. Mm-hmm. So my mortgage here in Utah would be like fifteen to seventeen hundred a month. I was looking at the same exact like square footage, much, much, much bigger yard. And in Tennessee, it would be like anywhere between like six and nine hundred. See, this is the that's where you need to be. Tennessee. I'm like, that is so cheap. Tennessee. And you still have, and you, you still get- have that kind of, is it not like out westy kind of a vibe there? You know, you got country music and got some mountains. Yeah, country, and, mountain, the yeah, mountains. Yeah, you have everything kind of, you can trick yourself into that same view, but have the reality could be better. <laughs> See, the south, yes, the south am, is where it's I'm at. I'm very much considering it. South I even saw, I was looking at Zillow because I'm obsessed Me with too. looking at Zillow. Me too. Oh my God, we're the and... same person. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Zillow every single day. And, I'm not even uh, moving and I look at Zillow all the time. <laughs> oh my God, I, I know. I have I have 12 months left in my lease, so I'm, I'm not moving like anytime soon, but I still, I go to bed looking at That's Zillow. Funny. And um, I saw this one and it had like a like carriage house and I'm like oh my god that would be so perfect because my son's dad won't leave us alone so I'm sure he's gonna want to come visit and I'm like okay I'll just stick him out there you go or (laughs) carriage house perfect I don't (laughs) see a downside really (laughs) yeah just you want to come visit okay go sleep in your mansion (laughs) mansion Because God forbid I let him in the real house. <laughs> no. No. Mm-mm. You can stay outside with the bugs and the animals, <laughs> you filthy beast. Filthy but... beast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was like, this is like the perfect house. And it was it was up in the mountains. There was land surrounding the whole thing. I think like the next neighbor was like you couldn't see them because there's trees. Mm-hmm. So like they're close enough because I did like the satellite view Mm -hmm. I'm like okay well they're close enough for me to like if I was getting murdered somebody would hear me uh I'm like but that's important close enough to where they would feel obligated to like bring me a pie (laughs) so I'm like oh my god that's hilarious that's hilarious (laughs) that's so funny (laughs) new year new wine and of course I'm talking nakedwines.com If you haven't tasted the delicious, independently crafted wines from boutique winemakers around the world, can you even call yourself a fellow wine mom? Debatable. But don't worry, I got you, girl. Use code MOMMYWINES50 or click the link in the show notes below to receive your first six bottles delivered right to your door for only $34.99. That's $34.99 for six bottles of wine delivered to your door with code MOMMYWINES50. You're welcome.
So how oh long have you been down in Florida? Um, pretty much all my life. Um, my parents moved us down here um, when I was like two. So I don't know anything about New York where I was born and Long Island. I pretty much grew up here in Florida. So, I mean, in a different town, in a smaller town north of us. But I really like this area here. It's like the bubble. The, we always talk about this being the bubble is just like where... I, it's nice. This is where we're going to just, we thought about moving because we could downsize. We have two older children that are um, in college and then just the, the small six-year-old. So we don't need this much space, but it's just the perfect location. <laughs> so we're like, we yeah. just have to, eventually we'll have grandkids. So we'll use the space, but let's just make it more us and, you know, stay here forever. That's just the way it is. A lot of people love I, I really like it. I can't, my like, I feel like the people who love it, like, love it, like, love, it. love it. Like, they'll never live anywhere else. No, I can't else. live, live anywhere else. My son, I have a 19-year-old who's in college right now, and he is all about the cold. So he went with a friend up to New England um, not too long ago and had a blast going skiing and stuff. And I just know he's going to end up having a family up in some cold area, some cold state. <laughs> and I'm like, well, okay, fine. I guess we can visit a cold place. state, but we're not living in a cold state. That's just silly. That's just silly. Why do people do that? I don't understand. To dig just to oh, I just to go it. to the grocery store, you have to dig yourself out of snow. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, see, I yeah. love it. Like if it was, I don't like the cold when there's no snow. Ugh. But if you can give me like a minimum of like three feet of snow at all times, I would live in that oh, wow. every day. All yeah, day. I can visit it like every year. I love snow. one week maybe <laughs> you'll go like skiing yeah. or something like look at it for yeah. a couple days and like oh how home. pretty and then let's go <laughs> that's how pretty let's go play and then okay we've had enough let's go to the beach there you go. I'll, I'll send you a, a utah postcard oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll never have to see yeah there you again. go and just open it and like look, read it while you're like looking at something in the fridge and you'll be good <laughs> you'll feel yeah. you'll feel alive see i'm i'm like the opposite i'm not a summer person i don't like heat yeah. especially like since after having kids mm. like i'm not completely bikini ready so like i hear you i'm sister. like man i don't want to put summer clothes on yeah. you know <laughs> well this is a perfect time to be cooped up in your house and not be able to go anywhere that's how i look i'm like well that's okay the beaches are closed. <laughs> we have all this time we should be I doing think... something constructive and but no <laughs> i know i signed up for beach body on mm-hmm. demand um because i don't know like when I moved into my apartment, they were, they had the gym closed for like annual deep cleaning or whatever. And then this whole quarantine thing happened. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to sign up for Beachbody. So I did. And I was doing a couple of the workouts, like, you know, like on my TV and it's cool. Cause it's just like streamable and they have different things there. And I'm like, man, now that we're in quarantine, I'm going to do Beachbody like every day. <laughs> I have not done it. Oh my before. gosh. However, I did binge watch over the past day and a half the entire series of Big Little Lies. And I ate an entire package of the <laughs> chocolate caramel drizzle pretzel chips. See, now it just cancels itself right out. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm like, I've been I drinking know. wine. It's hard. Sweets, binge watching TV it's shows. It's hard hard before before the um the quarantine i was working out monday through friday for an hour with the trainer in classes and i love her to death man she holds online classes she's keeping everything flowing and i am not there i need that group mentality that group i need to be there like either with her individually or with the group otherwise if i'm at home there's so many other things i could be doing and I have to do them. I have to. <laughs> Working out is just not one of them. I'm like, oh, this is not I good. Know. This is going to be, she's going to be, or all gym people are going to be gym and trainers and hairstylists and all kinds of nail people. They're going to be so busy after this is over. <laughs> have you heard about like the underground? The underground. Like what? Like it, it's real. 
there are now like people are sneaking <gasps> like hairdressers and like oh nail techs are sneaking people into their house oh my to God. like do services like out of their house. Oh my scandalous. It's yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm about to hit hit up a uh, me too. A black oh market my God. coronavirus hairdresser because I am like, man, I really want to cut my hair and I need Seriously. a haircut because it's I've just been throwing it up in buns every day. So it's like all it's all exactly. like broken and Every time I take my ponytail out, I'm like, oh god! I'm exactly. My hair I right swear, now. there's so much hair coming out from all these ponytails and buns. I'm like, okay, come on now, I can't handle this. I'm 45 years old. This is stuff that's going to happen naturally. I can't be ex- accelerating this process of hair falling out and hor- horrible. <laughs> thing. I gotta try to keep take care of things here, <laughs> but you know, such is life. Hey, wine moms. Let's shed those pesky COVID-19 pounds together, and let's get active again. Summer is just around the corner, and the weather is heating up. There is no better place to be for you or your health than outside in the sun and fresh air. So let's tackle the trails in a pair of Zaya Active joggers or shorts. Let's lounge by the pool in the new mix and match swimwear, or hit the gym in a sweat-wicking compression fast drying pair of no fuss light and tights. Whatever your activity may be, let's do it with Zaya Active. You can do so by visiting myzaya.com backslash emadon. That's myzaya.com backslash emadon. But um go ahead and share with the audience where everyone can find you online cool. or social media. Um cool. Yeah. Show. Um you can find me um Twitter. my website is off the vine designs.com and then I'll bring you right to my Etsy shop. And also the same thing for Facebook is off the vine designs. Um you know, Facebook.com slash off the vine designs. And for Instagram it's Jessica dot off the vine because designs was taken. So find me and see if there's anything cool that you want or just challenge me or just say hi <laughs> just say hi we can toast virtually well, it was great thank having you. you on the show today i'm thank you for inspiring me to drink, <laughs> drink your box, box wine. wine if it's what you got it's what you're drinking <laughs> especially in utah <laughs> yeah. yeah it is it is what i got so it's, until you move to tennessee of course today <laughs> I hope so. It's yeah. so beautiful. It's yeah, like I've only been Gatlinburg, place. like right in the middle of the Smokies and stuff. I've never been out like Nashville, Memphis, or anything. But it, it sounds like I've heard it's very pretty, very beautiful there. Are you a fan of the Mommy Wines podcast? Well, of course you are, or you wouldn't be hearing this right now. One of the best ways to support the show you love, besides obviously tuning in every Wine Wednesday for new episodes is shopping the Mommy Wines merch store on teespring.com. This is where you'll find all of the Mommy Wines branded goodness, mugs to hold your coffee over cardio morning java, iPhone and Samsung cases, premium ultra soft hoodies perfect for upcoming cooler months, and of course flowy teas and tanks flattering on every mommy out there. Go shop the Mommy Wines storefront on teespring.com and make sure to use code WINEMOM for free shipping. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Mommy Wines Podcast. Make sure to leave a rating and review. To support the show you love, check out the exclusive branded merchandise on themommywines.com. For extra sassy, honest, and potentially controversial content, make sure to join me over on the Mommy Wines Patreon. Also, don't forget to check out the other shows on the MW Network. If you love scary stories and true crime, you'll love Tales After Dark. More shows are coming soon, so make sure to stay connected on social at Mommy Wines Podcast. And until next Wine Wednesday, mamas, parent and drink responsibly.